Well, Emmanuel, you had your league debut at Colchester after a little bit of training at Cheltenham. You had another week. How much more do you think you know now going into this, this match against the under-21s of Leicester? Um, so much more. Um, I understand the team a lot more. Uh, we've been doing a lot of shape work. So, yeah, I understand my players more. So, yeah, it's really good. And you're getting to know names now. Yeah. 100% right rather than just, <laughs> who are you exactly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so key, you have to organise the midfield in front of you. So, knowing every player's name and like their nickname is just so much easier to, to organise the, the back line and the midfield in front of you. When you came into the club, did you know Daniel O'Shaughnessy from your time at Brentford? Um, he left just when I arrived, so no, I didn't really get to, to meet him, but I heard about him. So yeah, I kind of touched base with him when I got here. And coming through at West Ham, uh, 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 as, as you did, is this uh, a much more a sort of, uh, what would I say, a... A rough and tumble experience, do you think, in League Two, as, as opposed to the the football you've been used to playing? Uh, yeah, I think it's more realistic. So, like um, academy football, you hear it all the time. It's just more pretty football and very nice. It's not as physical and as rough as League Two. So, League Two, just the reality of the the, the men's football. So, it's good. It's more challenging. It's more physical. You, you just learn the the as they say the ugly side of football, which is you need all of that to be a complete footballer. So, it's not just the one twos and the pretty football that gets you to the top level. You need all of that. Even the Premier League defenders, or they have all of that in in store. They can win a header. They can make strong tackles. So yeah, it's important to have all of that together. What did the management of Brentford? What did what did Dean Smith say he wanted you to get out of this this time at Cheltenham? Um, definitely that like first team experience, getting getting stronger. Yeah, experiencing the the reality of football, as we say. And. Looking back on that on that Colchester match, do you even think that the second half was better than the first half because you were just acclimatising to what was required of you and, and the level you were playing at? Yeah, yeah, I definitely think so. Yeah, the second half was much better than the first half. We got on top of them second half. Like we we were pressing more in their half, um, recycling the ball well, moving the ball around, and like high pressure, they couldn't really deal with it, and they got a lucky goal towards the end, but. Yeah, we, we were much better second half, yeah. Have you ever played against the Leicester City under-21 sides before? Yeah, I have um, a year and a half ago with West Ham, but um, I'm guessing it'll be a different group now, but yeah. And is it that pretty football that, that you talk about, almost, almost non-contact football when you're playing age group against age group? Uh, it, it is. It's more competitive now than it was before, but yeah, it is, it is a bit... Uh, one two and moving the ball around and more tactical than than physical as such so if you go in terms of what dean smith wanted from you from your time here what has gary said that he wants from you does he want you to be the sort of the um the real ball winner at the back or the sweeper and the reader if i can if i can split those roles up yeah. um i think he, he wants a bit of both really so he wants the the dominant the dominant defender dominant in the air dominant in tackles and he wants People who like need to be good on the ball as well, make good passes, break lines. So it's a bit of both. It's not just one or the other. It's just having both the combination. To... And part of that, I suppose, is what they often say is the first two yards are in your head in terms of where you need to go and how you need to, to read runs of, of opposition forwards. Yeah, yeah. So key, so important as a defender. You need to, to read the game because you see everything in front of you. So, and you're the last of the keeper. You need to read the game and analyse where you need to get to before the ball's even got there. You need to always be thinking about worst case scenarios, like two, two steps ahead of everyone else, just to make sure you're protecting your team. And have you found that in your development, in your career, you, that's been something that's come naturally to you or have you had to work hard at that? Um, I think in the young years, playing against the, the best teams, so like Chelsea and Arsenal and Tottenham, they have very, very intelligent players. So you need to be two steps ahead if you want to play against them. Like, if you're going tight to a player, there's players running off him. So you need to weigh up the pros and cons as to which players you get tight to or which players you leave and turn, leave them to turn or whatever. So it's just something I've got over the years of playing against the, the top players or training, even with West Ham training with likes of Payet, um, Lanzini, Alex Song, all of the top players, it just it increases your, like, your anticipation and knowing what players are going to do. 
So your Cheltenham debut was away from home. Yeah. There's a sequence of home games coming up, so you're going to get pretty used to the, to the LCI Rail Stadium over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. Um, like happy with the away fans that came to the Colchester game. Really looking to see the, the home fans as well and appreciate the support. How much yeah. of an education was that Colchester game? The, your first senior start, as it were, in sort of rough and tumble. Yeah, 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 very educational. Um, I, I learned a lot. I spoke to Gary um, uh, at half time, and he just kept carrying on, giving me advice through the game, just saying, uh, "You're doing well. Just keep calm and keep on going." So yeah, I learned a lot and about how physical it was. We had the striker from Colchester Porter. He's very. He knows how to use his body well. So yeah, learn learn how to deal with that and take it into the next game. I was going to ask you about him. I bet you don't come up against many like him in the end of no, 23s. No, you don't. You don't. He's a, he's a good player. So do you, you're almost learning on, on the cuff. Do you feel you have to sort of adapt your game as you, as you go along? Were, were, were you at half-time thinking, I've got to play differently to how you thought before the game? Um, not, not as such, because I, we, I somewhat expected it. We, we spoke about it. The, the skipper spoke to me about him before the game and said, mind out for him, he's going to try and do this. And so did the manager. So I kind of expected it. It was just play, putting it into action and then regrouping at half time and going out again second half. Manager was in here talking about a, a pretty tough couple of days in training, getting everybody fit and sharp and yeah. battle ready. Is, is that been a, is that been something of, a, of an <laughs> eye opener for you? Yeah, 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 it has been, but like with whatever you do, you just got to trust and believe in it. And I believe 100% in what Gary's doing and what the club's doing. So, like, getting us fit, which is good. Like, the fitter you, the harder you work in training, the easier games it will be. So, I'm all about working hard in training and getting fitter. So, in games, I, I am able to last 90 minutes or 95 minutes, as they say, to, to finish off the game. So obviously, you win tomorrow night. You you got a game next Tuesday. Win that, and you got a game the Tuesday after. Yeah. And there's a league game the following Tuesday. So you could be playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday for yeah. for four weeks. Uh, at the intensity of the level that that, that League Two and Checker Trade go, Trophy games will be played. At, is that something you're ready for? Yeah, definitely. And welcome to League Football. You have to be ready for it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it as well. Getting getting a lot of games. That the more games you play, the fitter you get. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Excellent. Excited. Cheers, buddy. Good.